volcanoes in which we don't have any instrumentation on, we're living in the dark ages. We cannot tell when a volcano will erupt. My name is Jonathan Castro. I'm a professor of volcanology at the University of Mines. We, as a team, are going to Mount Etna to study one thing on the volcano, its gas composition. Mount Etna is a very complicated and active volcano that has five different craters. And each one of those craters has gas coming out of it. And volcanic gas is a precursor of an eruption. Mount Etna is neighboring the city of Catania, where millions of people live on the sides of the volcano, where those eruptions could produce material that go into the city. Our measurements of gas, deformation, and heat, by virtue of being from the air, will be the first of their kind on Mount Etna. We're choosing the DJI drones because they allow us to forget about all the technical problems associated with getting the drone running and flying. They allow us to have time to focus on making our scientific measurements. Traditionally, such measurements had to be made on foot. So a volcanologist will climb up on top of the volcano with an instrument that measures those things, gas or deformation, and stand there for hours, hoping that the gas would come towards us. So then I thought, the drone is a platform that can follow the gas where the wind takes it. My first expedition to Mount Etna was with a Phantom II Vision. I didn't think it would fly above 3,000 meters, especially in the winds, which were upwards of 20 kilometers per hour. I put the thing in the air and it flew beautifully. That gave me the idea, wow, this is going to work. If we can take an entry-level drone and fly under Mount Etna's harsh conditions, then we can take their upper-level product line, the M600, and we can do even better work by just simply adding the instrument to the drone and allowing the drone to fly into the volcanic plume. The first time that I flew a drone over a volcano, I felt like, wow, like I was observing a trip to the moon. There are millions of people worldwide who live around or on volcanoes. The better we understand volcanoes, the more efficiently we could make predictions of volcanic eruption behavior. We could translate those signs of activity into a plan of evacuation around active volcanoes. <laughs>